A counterargument is the recognition or description of an opposing perspective. Here are some potential effects on the audience. A counterargument can bolster the speaker's credibility, portray the speaker as fair or open-minded, offer an opportunity to refute the opposition, convince the opposition to change its view, eliminate doubt regarding the speaker's perspective, or give the audience talking points to use in the future. Here's an example of a counterargument. This is an excerpt from Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's remarks on the value of diversity. Affirmative action and the disparate impact concept have potential to lessen substantive inequality, foster diversity, and promote the economic and social well-being of people raised in unprivileged communities. But they also generate opposition, charges that they unfairly discriminate against individuals not personally responsible for society's transgressions. I do not downplay the opposition, but balancing the pros and cons, I subscribe to what Justice O'Connor wrote in the Michigan Law School case. To cultivate leaders with legitimacy in the eyes of the citizenry, the path to leadership must be visibly open to the talented, individuals of every race and ethnicity. We will all profit from a more diverse, inclusive society, understanding, accommodating, even celebrating our differences while pulling together for the common good. This highlighted segment explains the speaker's own point of view or the pros of affirmative action. The second portion explains an opposing perspective or counter-argument, which is the cons of affirmative action. By explaining this opposing perspective, the speaker demonstrates her own rational judgment and proves that she is evaluating both sides of the issue. She also uses the counter-argument to describe why she thinks her own perspective is more powerful since she believes in expanding opportunities. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell to receive notifications whenever I make a new video. Make sure to check out my AP English Language and Composition playlist for more step-by-step -step tutorials and other videos. I will see you next time.